Hi everyone, this is Aya from Foya Neo, and today I'm going to be taking you through how to create a walkthrough. So this is actually one of my favorite parts, bringing your design to life and having the ability to look at it in a realistic way. So the first step is once you are done with your space to click on to take render. And then from here, we want to go to create walkthrough. So we will go on to create new. And this is what will show up first. So you do have two options um, when you are creating a walkthrough. You have the high density and the low density. So the difference between them is um, the low density, there's a minimum amount of camera used, whereas with high density, you can use as much as you want. And you get a bit of a better walkthrough experience. And um, it does use up more credits, but that's because it gives you a great result. So for this example, we are going to go with the high density um, option and simply click proceed. And once we click proceed, this is what we will see. This is the entire space that I'm working with. As you'll notice, I have like a little screen up there that lets me look at each camera view. Now from here, the first thing I like to do is um, set all the cameras everywhere that I'd want them to be and add cameras if I need to. So I can click on to add cameras and simply click where I want to add new cameras. You can also delete cameras if you feel like you have too much. I'm just gonna press the escape key to leave the add cameras. And if I did wanna delete one, it's simply by clicking on it and then the backspace or delete key on your keyboard, click on to confirm and that's gone. Um, once you do have the amount of cameras that you want, you can as click and drag them to move them to a different place. If you did, for some reason, want to go back to how the cameras were originally positioned, you can click on to reset cameras and click on yes. And it's just going to give you the default cameras that the program just placed there. So from here, the next thing I would do is actually go into the lighting tab. Um, as you can see in the lighting tab, it's the same lighting tab that we have in the normal rendering mode. You have the three times of day, the day, evening, and nighttime. Obviously with nighttime, there is no sun because it's night. Um, you would select the time of day that you want. You can select the preset that you're after. You can adjust the interior lighting to be higher or lower, depending on how you want your space to look. And if you did have um, windows or like doors or something that you can see outside you can also adjust your environment which will be the view that you see outside um, and the last thing that you can do down here is turn product lighting on or off and that would be um, floor lamps that would be uh, wall lights sconces cove lights pretty much all of that it will turn it off um, and with the sun you can also turn that on or off doesn't matter uh, if it's daytime so the next thing I'm going to do is come into the cameras tab up here and we're going to want to set a starting point. So right now, um, the one that I'm clicked on over here is what's setting, what's shown right there. From here, I'm going to click on to set starting point and whichever camera I pick is going to be the first camera view that I'll see once I go into the completed walkthrough. So for this space, I'm going to want it to be um, this camera over here because it is the entry into um, my design. So as you can see, as soon as I clicked on that camera, it ticked it for me. I'm just going to click on done and that's set as my uh, default starting view. Once I've set all of that and I'm happy um, with my camera views, you can also go ahead and adjust the sun position if you wanted to, and you can have a look over here um, how that affects your space as well in different views. And then you can also grab a preview. So preview lets you come into the space and just make sure you have the angles that you want. Once you're happy with everything, that's when you would go back and click on to generate preview. So I've already generated a preview for this one. So I'm going to go back and show that. You can see your already done previews in the gallery and it'll show up where it says walkthroughs. So this is the completed walkthrough for this space. And once you click on it, so it opens up as a link. So you can take this link, send it to anyone, um, post the link on social media for people to open it up and pretty much anyone can access it. So as we can see, because I set 
um, if I hover over this, it kind of gives me a better idea. Because I set this first uh, camera as my starting off point, this is where it took me straight away. And then from here, I can move around by clicking on the circles over there to move my camera position. As we can see, just by simply clicking and moving my mouse around, I have full, pretty much full ability to be able to look around the entire space as if I'm really in there. Um, another way of looking through your space is by hovering over this box and you can literally click on whichever angle you want to go to. So maybe I want to go right in front of the sofa. I'll just click on this one right here and it takes me directly in front of that view. And then I can have a look around there and you can see how, um, how amazing all the detail is and how you can see the lights and, and we have some lights around there and yeah, so it gives you great detail. Um, it's an awesome way to present a design, to show someone your ideas, and it looks super realistic and amazing. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful and happy designing.